Hello, good morning, and you are welcome to part two of Journey to Era. And seeing as you're still with us, I want to say a very big thank you. So we've all woken up and we've begun our morning cry, and we are out going into the community to wake them up to get them ready for today's medical outreach. And of course, as is our practice, we never forget to have fun along the way because um, of course everyone is a vibe and <laughs> as you can see, of course everyone is really enjoying themselves. And at the same time, we also have a group that is also carrying out prayers in preparation for all that we have to do today and yes, we are committing it all into the hands of God. All right, once again, good morning, everyone, and um, I'm checking in again. This is day two of our journey to this village called Era, and um, so basically what we are going to be doing today is that we are going to be having our medical outreach, and the medical outreach basically comprises of, um, we're going to be giving free consultations, we're going to be counseling, and of course, this year we had something new that we are doing. We're also carrying out free um, surgeries. We are going to be doing some free, of course, basic, basic procedures, excision of valves, um, excision of biopsies, um, just uh, maybe removal of lymph nodes and some things like that. Send it for histology and um, maybe whatnot. We can also, we will also be, um, good morning, mama, good morning. So also, we are also going to be, for those that we can't manage here, we we'll send them to a tertiary institution nearby. And of course, we are going to, basically, we are kind of tra trying to do a very holistic treatment this year for patients. Um, whether we are going to be able to do adequate follow-up is something that um, is going to be highly dependent on what we see today. But yes, so that's basically So once we are done with our medical outreach, as you saw, the morning cry is already going on to inform the inhabitants of the village of, of the, what we are going to be doing, the indigents. Then after the, that we're going to be having the last session of the crusade later in the evening. I don't know. See, you can, as you can see, it's a lot goes into planning programs like this. Yes, a lot, a whole major lot goes into plan, planning programs like this. That's what I really want you guys to appreciate. And it's it's beautiful because we are giving healthcare, we are giving hope. And this is why I really love CMD and I love what CMD is doing. It's a wonderful ministry. It's a wonderful body. So yes, so aside all you see me doing on my YouTube channel, this is another big aspect of what makes me um, tick. Yes, I, I I love Jesus so much. I'm a Christian. I don't hide that fact. And aside that fact, I also love giving healthcare services. I love when communities are taken care of with the, with the resources that we have. You know, we have very, very... Um, epileptic, epileptic healthcare services in Nigeria. Like the healthcare system here is so bad. So sometimes this thing goes a long way in helping indigenous in communities when we organize outreaches like this. But let me not talk too much because I still have a lot to film for you today. So this is just the introduction and look out for all that we still have in store for you guys. And I'm going to ensure that I disturb a lot of people with my videos today. So um, see you along the day and um, peace out. So a couple of us were kind enough to make clothes available for the inhabitants of the community. Um, so those that had um, spare clothes or could borrow from people made these available so that as soon as some of the inhabitants are done seeing the doctors, they can just pick one or two before um, leaving. And before long, our seats were filled up with people who had arrived to come and see the doctors. And you could see the anticipation of as they were sitting down. And this year we did something. We made it a, a point of action to educate the community members about the importance of visiting the clinic that is available in the community because we heard that a good number of them would rather seek for traditional um, medications and a lot of these local concoctions and coming to seek for modern day med med medicines which of course is harmful and detriment uh, detrimental to their health you know, of course in the long run. Yes. Yeah. 
and of course the kids were very happy to see us the next morning in fact they were so ready to learn you could see the apprehension the anticipation and they followed everything that their teachers were, were, were putting them through in fact there was so much joy happiness I actually wish this was the session I was working in but I just want to say a very big thank you to everyone that made this children's training and learning a success I'm sure these kids are not going to forget a lot of the things that they learned but for now I think we should go back to our clinic to see what's going on for you are with me you are with and of course, as soon as our doctors came, of course, luckily, they just went straight up to consultation after a few hellos and welcome. Um, they got into their seats and started cons consulting and seeing patients. All other units started functioning. Of course, the registration and vital sign um, units had already started earlier. So as soon as consultations were done, um, the, um, the inhabitants of patients rather were taken to a special counseling unit. Here we had medical students counseling them on current best practices or or things related to diagnosis that they were given and of course as soon as they were done it was um it didn't take it it took about i think two hours and two hours to about four hours and as soon as we're done with that of course a few pictures were taken here and there and of course our doctors left back to the children's section we the children were having a wonderful time i remember this particular thing and she was trying to bust this balloon um they were playing a game i thought she wouldn't get it and of course everyone was cheering on you could feel the heat and anticipation and of course, um, let me let you guess what's going to happen. She wants to bust! No! And I could be with children every day. There is the joy and excitement when she bust that balloon just now. She popped the balloon. <laughs> let me go back to where I was. The beautiful faces that you are seeing now are actually the people that made this outreach a success, that made this medical outreach a success. All these faces you are seeing. In fact, organizing an outreach like this would be impossible without the contributions of everyone. Everyone just playing their roles and carrying out their own activities and action. And we are really grateful for people like this. And these were some of my classmates that came for the outreach. Chooks, you have Blessed, you have my class coordinator Barnabas, you have Timothy, he thinks he's a rapper. <laughs> You have favor, you have immaculate, and um, of course you have one of the most intelligent guys in my class. You have restoration. He likes wearing face cap. <laughs> you have Philemon. I would have said something, but let me just pass. <laughs> and of course you have Mark. Wicked lady, what's the best part of this outreach for you? Part of this outreach has been. Sales. Your sales. So all you are thinking about is the money. Yes. I've been able to use my sales to reach out to the world. Yeah, reach out to lost souls. Reach out to lost souls. See, everybody so has been won through my sales. Are you sure people? Why I'm buying things, I am pushing out the world. <laughs> but there are a lot of people here that are saying that you are greedy. You are stingy. What do you have to say to that? It's more like it's but see, when it comes to money, people are not honest. Huh? They really want to swindle you, but by the grace of God, I've been able to handle need, handle tech, a lot of things. All of you. And thank God for the grace I've given me. Right, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Okay, so how was your experience at um the medical outreach? So this is my first medical outreach. As yeah. A student, it's been an amazing experience. I really didn't want to come to come. Thank God, Jane had to convince you. Convince me. Yeah. She actually said I should try and make sure I come. So right. I'm here and um era has been amazing yes people are accommodating they wonderful are sweet people and they are nice people as well wonderful been an amazing time with medical students you know seeing them do a lot and i've actually been exposed to so many things All i was right. at the vital unit um, vital science unit of this medical church and man what i've learned today has been mind me and of course we had a uh crusade again in the night and of course the villagers turned up in mass as was the case the previous day and we had a very good time worshipping we 
with them and it was an awesome experience and at the end of everything as you would expect because we knew we were leaving the next day we danced we danced and we danced with the, with the community members and everyone just had a good time worshiping praising god and just knowing that we had come to cause change in the land of era i mean these people were, were going to be better off than when we came and that was something worth celebrating what an incredible day it has been it has been a wonderful period in era community i'm so happy i came from this for this outreach and um, really god's name has been glorified the people have um, i mean a lot of things really happened at this uh, medical outreach 2022 has been a great year for cmd and we bless god like a lot of things really happened i don't know how to tell you guys the viewers but i'm sure the video itself explained a lot and i just want to say thank you for following us from day one to day two and yes thank you for always watching my youtube channel i will see you guys in the next video until next time i love you goodbye very great man that's beloved at the back no one is as strong as below. The guy hey, gets power, die. As Jeez. you can see. <laughs> this is the one and only king. Yes. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I like this. Elon Musk. <laughs> I like this. There's no smoke without fire. There is no smoke without fire. Don't pardon his voice, I beg. He has been talking. <laughs> he has been speaking great things. <laughs> I remember the moment when we had to because i followed the last bus that was living here and looking at all that we've done all that we did from the beginning day one to now to day three i was happy because i knew that we had brought a form of positive change to the community the people were happy hopefully now they will live healthier lives hopefully now they'll carry out practices that will be beneficial to them hopefully now they are enlightened hopefully now the light has come to this community and they are no longer ignorant of a lot of things that people would have said oh these people see what they are doing because i remember then a lot of these people had hypertension diabetes a lot of these people were still bathing in rivers and a lot of people were still practicing idolatry there was so many things that were wrong and off and um, I kept thinking how someone like Mary Slesso would have felt when she talked to those people of Calabar then about um, twin killing she would have been happy seeing the change knowing that those harmful practices were now behind those people it was a positive kind of change that was the same thing I was thinking of when I was leaving era of course I was very tired and of course I was also thinking of my bed as well <laughs> But at the same time, I was happy that I was, I was part of something big. I was part of, of a group of people that God had used to bring light to a community, to bring light to Era Village. And to be honest, I can't wait to do it again. So thank you for watching this video with me. And thank you for sticking to the end. And bye.